Surface triggers are the things that probably get on people's nerves the most when you're talking about <laughs> asthma. You know, that's the dust, that's the pet dander, that's the pest detritus, that's the mold spores. That's the things that you see on, you know, your countertops, your, your, your uh, tables, um, your stuffed animals, everything that you see around the home. Um, and those are some really powerful triggers. Um, that's why it's really important to really monitor and, and clean those kind of on a daily or weekly schedule. If you do a little bit every day, then you don't have to do so much later on and it doesn't build up as much. Um, another way to, to kind of deal with surface triggers, because it can also get in your clothes, it can get in your hair. So really washing your linen. Um, there are a lot of these dust encasements, kind of uh, dust mite uh, for pillows and, and, and beddings and things like that. So those are something else that can be utilized to kind of keep those um, from becoming a problem. And then also just washing your pet. We love our pets and um, a lot of people kind of neglect that. Um, and they also keep their, their pet with them in their bedroom, sleep on their beds and mm -hmm. things like that. So that just adds to the problem. So those are just a few things to kind of keep the surface triggers down. Okay. One of the other really important things about surface triggers is um, to have a HEPA filter vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. uh, your carpeting is a major uh, uh, place where a lot of that stuff accumulates. And if you don't have a HEPA filter in your vacuum cleaner, you'll just draw it out of the carpet and broadcast it all in the room for everybody to breathe. Wow. So a HEPA filter is very important in, the, in good housekeeping.